Elsewhere, we have, according to a very disturbing video posted online, I actually watched the entire part of this. It, it's frightening. Uh, it's about six minutes long. Far-right members of a Ukrainian nationalist party can be seen storming a state-run TV station, assaulting and terrorizing the CEO, forcing him to resign. The men accused the CEO of using the station to campaign for Moscow. NBC has not confirmed the authenticity of the video. Um, but, but you really do get a sense of the complexity of this when you read about exactly what they were trying to do, Barnacle, what happened with the sanctions yesterday, but also this, quote, vote to annex, secede, separate Crimea from Ukraine. Well, it's uh, an incredibly complex and delicate situation for the United States as well as the Ukraine. Andrea, one, one of the things that came to mind just watching that video is clearly uh, the White House and the Secretary of State are involved in climbing the ladder on sanctions. There will be further sanctions, tougher sanctions down the road. But do, do you, what do you hear about the problem within the problem? Crimea is basically gone. That's not coming back. Right. But the problem within the problem is how do we keep Ukraine out of starting a hot war, a shooting war? Well, the, the, these last two incidents, first of all, what happened yesterday in, in Crimea, in the capital of Crimea, with the first known uh, casualty death, there were, another person was injured as well, and now we're hearing reports that other Ukrainian soldiers are being forced out of their base, that basically the, the Russian takeover of Crimea is being completed. And I don't know how you stop the, the tension. So far, the Ukrainian acting leaders have been very restrained, but they have to defend themselves at some point. And you've got a lot of ethnic tension. The theory, the theory is that Putin will not move farther into eastern Ukraine if there are economic sanctions and if Europeans uh, stand up to him. But so